If you say to me, do you mean we have to be perfect to get into heaven? No, but you have to be straight with God. You have to be living up to the light that he's given you in your conscience. doesn't matter what the rest of us think of you. You might look terrible. You might appear to us a very evil person, but if you're dealing with God on the issues that he's dealing with you about, then you can know the witness of his spirit. It's very interesting, isn't it? The two guys that were talked about at the beginning. I'm sure the fella that lived here had all kinds of things wrong in his life. Isn't that right? He could have had all kinds of things wrong in his life. His friend out on the West Coast or wherever he was, he wouldn't care about all those. Those didn't affect the relationship. The only thing that affected the relationship was the thing that the one guy had done against the other. Now, God's dear spirit is whispering in your heart at this very moment, what in your life is making his son's death here a vain thing? God's spirit at this moment is whispering in your conscience, look, I've changed you in my son Jesus, but I want you to accept the change here in this area. And until you do, all that I've done for you and my son will be of no avail and you will go into outer darkness and live in loneliness. So loved ones, what is it in your life? And what is it in my life? That's what will determine whether we go away sorrowful or joyful this morning. So will you deal with it? Particularly if anybody here this morning is saying, everybody is lax in morals. Everybody is lax. Everybody is jumping in and out of everybody else's bed. I'm just doing what everybody else is doing. Loved ones, it doesn't matter what they're doing. If God has already convicted you about that, if you don't stop now, this morning, you will go out of here sorrowful. And it's the same with every other issue in our lives. Whether it's dishonesty in our businesses, or it's the sarcastic tone of voice we're using with those at home, whatever it is, God is able to tell you now what he wants you to change. I'd encourage you to do it.